Well, today's Saturday morning, and uh, family has me booked all day uh, later. So uh, I'm going to try to knock out one antenna. I'm going to try to go ahead and uh, antenna my uh, ADSB uh, in receiver. And uh, what it requires is a BNC connection. And I'm going to come out here. I went ahead and bought this little 45 degree adapter. I can actually put on here. So my wire, my antenna can come out underneath this guy, go down inside the, the fuselage, underneath the seat there. The one I'm gonna put underneath the seat is this little guy here. That's the antenna that's gonna go underneath the seat, sticking up like that. And as you can see on here, it has those two little, uh, I call them nipples sticking out there. And uh, that requires a BNC connection as well. So I got to hook up I got to wire up two BNC connections. I've been kind of practicing. Actually, I haven't been kind of. I have been practicing. Here's my RG400 cable I bought. So that's the cable I'm going to be using for all my antennas. And I just got my uh, my packages came in from Aircraft Spruce. These are two BNC connectors. Uh, what they have is that little, that small little pin. They keep sliding around. Small little pin you got to put on along with the other part. And then that little... That little collar, a little sleeve right there. You know, you put that over there and crimp everything on. So I'll have a BNC on both sides. I was looking at places to route this. I think instead of coming down underneath the seat, I think what I'm gonna do is just come down and uh, I'll come down a little channel there, come down next to this little bundle wire right here my brake system is, and probably just install the antenna straight down here. I don't have a good way to get in underneath the seat uh, by pre-making my cables. Uh, I got some holes right there, but the time I put the uh, the B and C connector on the end, it won't fit through that hole. I don't want to have to drill another huge hole. I don't want to route it on the outside of this and then coming in over here. So I think I'm just going to terminate it straight down here, somewhere back uh, along the side of the fuselage back here where my feet won't be kicking it. So I have my RG400. I got it stripped down using that little guy there. And uh, that little little tip there goes onto that, and then I crimp it with that guy there. All right, I slid that piece over until it clicked into place. See my center pin there after I crimped it on? I slid this uh, this other little sleeve over here and uh, trimmed off a little excess shielding over there. But um, anyway, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna crimp this sleeve on right here with the same crimping pliers used to crimp on the uh, center pin there. Uh, they're just a different different area on the crimping pliers. And uh, I'll probably put some heat shrink on, on that just to help kind of stabilize it a little bit. And uh, I'll do a little test of my uh, multimeter, make sure we have a good connections everywhere and uh, we'll work on the other side. All right, got my first uh, coaxial cable uh, completed. Even with the string and the final size, I still went about five to six inches longer in case I messed up. And sure enough, I messed up three separate times where <laughs> on this end here. So I had to get new pieces. And uh, luckily I bought some cheap stuff from Amazon that I can practice with. And uh, so and I bought extra even from Aircraft Spruce at the better place. And uh, yeah, I still wasted, well, at least wasted two from Aircraft Spruce already. So uh yeah, that's even after practicing. So yeah, buy extra pieces, cut your uh, coax to extra length. Uh, at least I had to anyway. And uh, hopefully uh, this will work. You can see where I mounted the antenna for AD ADSB in. I went right there. I'm gonna make that look prettier around that whole area. I know it gets a little congested with my uh, parking brake, but you can kind of see it routed up in there. Just kind of get it loosely rigged up for there. And I think that will end up working out okay. And I had thought about Instead of coming straight down, putting a little angle on there, but then I'd have to bend this wire or this coax more than I wanted to. So the bends on this are very subtle. I don't want any sharp bends on it. So uh, that accomplished that goal. Making the uh, coax cable for the uh, transponder. And like I said, the one connected to the transponder is a TNC connection, has threads in it, it's a male. That's a part number of the one I'm using right there for the RG400 cable. Again, small little run here gonna run to the transponder and immediately take a dump down to the little antenna. So uh, I'll show you when we're done. 
All right, this one's crazy tiny here. What, three? Three, I don't know, four, five and a half inches or so. Uh, again, a, a TNC connection on one side that goes to the transponder, BNC connection on the other side that goes to the antenna. Let's go see if it fits. Well, you're not gonna be able to see this perfectly, but yeah, very kind of a subtle little bend in there. I try not to put too much of a bend in it. It's a very, very subtle little bend in there and uh, one connection to the next. I guess I could have made that wire just a touch shorter so it would have been more of a, just a straight shot. But the bend isn't too, I don't think too much actually. Um, if it was any more than that, I probably wouldn't use it, but uh, I think that right there should be fine. If not, they're easy to make. So we're gonna give that a shot. And for those that wanna see the transponder antenna, uh, it's right down there. Looks the same as my other one. You can kind of see the other one way down the far side of the picture there. But anyway, there it is. I need to make some more L angles. I got two made right here. And uh, I'll scrap aluminum. Got my flat pieces I made. I made them about 40 millimeters each. And uh, then I take them over to the brake. Over here. Put them in the brake. Bring that over. And I got a piece made. So making that for the uh, comm antenna. I to build a little bit of extra support under there. I need uh, one L angle. And I got some scrap. I'll make a few of these in case I need have some extra left over uh, for some other things. All right, just going to show where I'm planning on putting the comm antenna. Uh, pilot side coming up here. I'd already marked this out. Um, there's an area you can see the forward section just behind this guy. There's a little area. Um, this area is where I'm planning on putting an L angle. Those L angles I made. And this guy is gonna. I'm gonna have another piece inside the fuselage. Just another plate attached to that L angle. And there's an L angle right here and another support right here. So I have another plate attached to that to give that more thickness. So it'll support my comm antenna, which comm antenna is, I plan on going right there somewhere. And just made a copy of the, uh, the gasket that goes on there. Here's the antenna I'm using. It's uh, sitting right there. And uh, I'll mount that. Came with like a little, there's a little gasket, probably adhesive on one side. This is just a copy I made. And what I did up here is see a little angle in the corner. I put that little L angle up there along with an additional plate back up in there and uh, took the rivets out and re-riveted that in just to give that a little added thickness up there. All right, got the comm antenna, all the holes drilled. Got it straight to the fuselage for the most part and I just need to uh, get my washers and nuts on there and wait till my wife gets home so we can double team that and figure out the exact length for my uh, antenna wire. I got the one going down here, if you can see that or not, to the radio way down there. Um, I have a little excess uh, antenna or cable, but I haven't put the end on it yet. So uh, I plan I'll be trimming it, fine tuning it then put, building some supports along the side of the fuselage to, to um, support the antenna. And while I'm waiting on her to get home, I was playing around with my jacks here. Again, from a pre-made harness here, I know you got these like little, uh, I don't know, uh, little washers on here to help. And they're, and they're not, they're like a cork type. That's probably a bad term, but uh, washers help isolate these guys so uh, you're not screwing it directly onto or not mounting it directly to aluminum which that wouldn't work well I don't know if it grounds it out or what it does anyway so it looks like they're already isolated on these pre-mounted ones uh, the only thing that this thing disassembles is there's a nut and a really fine just a metal washer this other than that everything else is stays put it doesn't disassemble at all and again, it looks like it already has some uh, separators and little spacers in there, so kind of already isolates it. So it looks like it came that way. I went ahead and just uh, put the pilot's wand in there, just put it up against there, screwed it down with the, put the washer and the nut on there, 
I'll do the same thing to the uh, the pilot side next. And uh, once I get the antenna hooked up, I'll turn the radio on and see if it works. All right, my ELT. Um, I have this mounted up here, this remote unit there, and it plugs in via this to this guy. This guy has like an old telephone connection on the end of it and a very long cable. So my goal is to, it's a very long cable. I have it going out the access hole at the bottom. You kind of see that right there. My goal is to put the ELT as far aft as humanly possible with, and I think the biggest restrictor is gonna be that cable that connects to the other part up there. So I'm just gonna run that wire as far back here as I can on the aft fuselage and see what kind of where it, where it lands me here. From there, I will put this somehow formulate some type of bracket for this guy, this guy. So this heavy guy can go in there. You don't even have the batteries in it yet. And then um, it connects to this little antenna here, which hopefully will be in the neighborhood of right in here somewhere. And uh, we'll see how far back that line will take me. And the reason I want this as far back as possible with the particular engine choice seems i'm not sure how common it is but i know some people have done it is to add weight in the tail the very very tail and i'm not sure how much so um if i can get that big heavy guy as far aft as i can and i'll probably have to put an access panel here i have one buried underneath all this stuff um either here or on the bottom side of the uh fuselage here we'll make a mount install that guy so let me run that wire and see how long or that cable see how long it allows me to uh to go with that all right stre i stretched out the elt cable see how far aft i can i can uh, uh mount that guy and uh right there is where i'm going to do it um We'll go ahead and make an access panel right here so I can mount that down to the floor or mount the ELT, reach my hand in there, mount the floor or the ELT down here to the floor there, probably build some brackets up and everything else. Otherwise, there's absolutely no way of doing it back here other, without an access panel, I don't think. Oh, well, made me a hole. Uh, drilled that out or uh, cut this out with the Dremel tool and sand it down the edges. I'll probably use solid rivets in here. Just get them to size 40. And I guess this will actually double as see those little slots in there. There's one out here too. That's for my rudder cables. So I can actually reach down in there and uh, help route my rudder cables when the time comes. With that being closed up, it's kind of a pain in the booty. Uh, there's a hole up there. I guess you could probably get to the rudder cables if your arm's small enough, but yeah, my wife could probably do that, but I can't. Um, also, uh, the spot the ELT is going to go is right in this area here. There's gonna be rudder cables on each side of it, but uh, um, they should have plenty of clearance back in there. So we'll get this guy just primed it. We're gonna go ahead and get that installed uh, inside of there and uh, go from there. Here's a little uh, plate I made using nut plates that this will actually screw into. This will be kind of rough right there. That's gonna go, actually it's gonna go right there. That's gonna sit on there like that once the cleat goes out of the way. All right, that's how I mounted this tray in here. Uh, Allen head screws, I believe that's close to like two millimeter size on that uh, on that part right there, in case I ever have to take this back out. Um, this works, I think it's gonna work pretty pretty good. And I'll put rivets in the bottom of the skin uh, for that. So the bottom of the skin rivets will be almost all of those except for the end ones. These end ones are hooked up to the longer ones actually on the fuselage, so more of a main structure. And then there's a doubler uh, L angle going across this one as well. So that's what I'm going to use. We'll get her installed on the aircraft now. I'll have the ELT mount and ELT riveted, or at least the ELT mount riveted down now. Um, so that's solid in there now. I got the strap on it. And this little guy here, this little wire coming out here, it goes to that little telephone uh, clip right there. And uh, one of my big issues, or I thought it might be an issue, was that not being long enough on the other side of that going to the, my instrument panel, but it is just long enough and I can, I gotta stow away that wire still. And then I'm gonna make some clips or something to stow this down so I don't get in my rudder controls. My rudder controls are really close right here. All right, here's, I got my, all my wires uh, secured down for the most part. 
feel like there should be a better way, but I'm not sure what that better way is. Um, anyway, there it is. And got that coming back there. That'll focus or not. And that's going to the front of the panel. My top skin's pretty flimsy for an antenna, so uh, I'm building a, making a doubler plate. And uh, here's what I did with a piece of paper. I just uh, uh, penciled in where my rivet uh, rivets are already pre-existing and uh, went X amount of uh, distance away from those. There's my antenna for the ELT.